again. Uh, another tutorial for you. This one, um, the goal is for me not to yap too long and also to show you how to get uh, build into your template a quick and easy way to add some fun vocal effects while you're making sweepers and promos or any sort of imaging, really. And uh, you're building it into your template, and you're basically doing vocal spread effects um, using left and right panning, some fading, and some extra filtering. So what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, whatever sort of template you usually use. This one is one of my more basic ones, uh, but I start with some mono tracks. Those are the orange. Start with some stereo tracks, which I throw all the crap on. Those are the blue. Then I have all my buses and stuff. I'm not going to really go into any of that now. That's what takes time. We're going to add ourselves two new tracks, two new mono tracks to be specific. I like to keep these particular tracks at the top, so we're going to move them up there. We're going to color code them. I like the left one. We're going to be making a left and a right. I like the left one to be yellow, and I like the right one to be red, not that red, that red. Uh, we will title these appropriately. Left, uh, next, and I have to reach around my mic. Sorry, right. We are going to pan. Uh, in fact, let's say you start out like this. Uh, you can do it one of two ways. You can change this to pan, or you can simply uh, turn on your I.O., and just jam it. We're going to pan the left one, surprisingly, all the way to the left. Pan the right one all the way to the right. Now, the other thing that, that you want to do, that, that I do at least, since I'm bussing all of my vocal tracks into this aux and I'm applying a uh, EQ and a compressor, REQ6 and an L1, I want these tracks to be affected exactly the same way as my normal voice tracks. So I'll go ahead and bust these out. I'm using three and four. I don't have anything set up to uh, specifically. This is a, a test session, as you can see. Anyway, and uh, so now what we've accomplished to our template is we've added two more mono vocal tracks, left and right. We've panned the right one right. We've panned the left one left. The other thing that I like to do, because this just makes your life a little easier down the road, is I like to throw some filter on this. I like to make it a little harder, uh, roll off more of the low end, than whatever you're rolling off on your standard vocal bus. So I've got a really simple EQ setting. You'll see how simple it is. In fact, I can make it really quickly like this. There, that's it. But anyway, I actually uh, saved it. It's already high. Anyway, copy that to both. So you want the exact same effect on both of them. So now here's the sweeper we have. Whether you're canoeing or tubing. <laughs> The obvious choice is today's best country, Y106.5. Good buddies up there in Wisconsin. I do the uh, production and the voice, so it's it's a little easier, uh, if you ask me. Um, when you want to, I don't know, whatever you want to do, it doesn't really. We, need to, we don't need to go into that right now. That's why I talk too long. So what we want to do is we want to just add a little something extra to this final, to the calls, to the name of the damn station. Y106.5 cool by itself and you could go in and destructively edit it by adding in audio suite plugins uh, you know you could throw an EQ on it uh, maybe uh, throw a doubler on it you can <laughs> make me sound like a chipmunk whatever you want to do to it but instead of a uh, doing any destructive editing we'll avoid that and B taking the time to actually apply all these plugins we're just simply going to copy this there copy that there now there's a few ways you can go with it right now but the simplest way, and really the, the point of doing this effect, is to just nudge each of these. Uh, left one, nudge it to the left. Right one, nudge it to the right. And we'll hear what that sounds like. Country. Y106.5. So now, immediately, you get that cool, filtered, sp stereo spread effect on this. If you had this in your template, so you start like this, you've made your sweeper. It's literally this fast. Copy. Nudge. Nudge. And again, you can use keyboard commands if that's what you like to do. Country. Y106.5. See, I didn't nudge that enough if you ask me because it sounds like that phasey effect. Country. Y106.5. And just so you know, you can get a little too crazy with it. Country. Y106.5. I mean, that's just absurd. Who would do that, right? So, again, quick way to get that spread vocal effect. Now, another just, I don't know how much time. Literally, I'm trying to make myself more um, brief in these things. So anyway, another thing you can do, since you have applied this filter, you don't have to uh, make it sound like that stereo spread effect. 
If you just want to get like a quick little harder CHR effect on the voice, just simply drag it up to the left, copy it to the right. Best country. Y106.5. There, now you've got that hard filter. So, you've started your template. Here's another sweeper I just made. Pat and AJ in the morning. For real? Yeah, for real. Real people talk. Okay. So let's say, again, you don't want to use this effect too often. It sounds ridiculous if it is more than a couple seconds and it's just going to upset the listener's ear. You just want to make certain words or phrases stand out with this. So let's just make this stand out. So we'll just pop it up here so you know what I'm working with. Pop that one up here. Again, I don't even need to listen to it. You just you kind of know what you're doing. And you know what? Let's get crazy. Let's do this is the slogan. You'll hear it also. Just move it around a little bit. You can always adjust. For real? Yeah, for real. Real people talking about real life. Today's best country. Y106.5. So the purpose is it makes your sweeper sound a little more interesting to the ear. Again, don't overuse it. Um, but it makes phrases stand out. Again, name of the station or slogan of the station or something you just really want to make sort of pop. Uh, if you're doing contesting, you know, win big money, how much money? $5,000, you know, that kind of thing. You can do that. So there you go. A simple way to add into your template some stereo spread effect on the vocal tracks using two more mono, a left, a right. Slam them either way, respectively. Add on an extra filter to give them that much more juice. And uh, color code and name them. All right, there you go. That's my tutorial for today. Enjoy. Bye. Bye. <laughs>